Well, hello everyone, it's me, Daniel with Website Candy, and today I wanna to talk to you about responsive images and responsive video. Now, if you've ever built a website, and this right here is just a little weekend project that I did here. I put together a quick little website for my wife and I in reference to everything that we have going on. And as you can see right here is a video on her page, and I don't know if you've ever embedded a YouTube video on your page and actually tried to view that on a tablet or a smartphone, but the YouTube video by default will not respond. Your whole entire page is responsive. However, the video is not responding. So as you can see here the video responded and we can actually go right over in here we can actually click the video and it's going to play right there it doesn't necessarily take over full screen but on the mobile it actually will take full screen precedence over the entire page so right here on my side right down here I have web design made easy and it's a step-by-step -step tutorial here to where I'm showing you you know nine quick videos most of them are about two minutes or so in reference to showing you exactly what I need to make sure that your web design your website project comes along very smooth and swiftly here so as you can see here's the video the full size video that's the default size from YouTube right there I think it's like 590 by 315 but you can see here that the video is going to respond and you can kind of see where this is what it would look like in reference to a tablet and then if you bring it a little bit smaller you can kind of see how it will kind of look in reference to you know in reference to a smartphone um, some especially some of the bigger phones like the note 3 or the note 2 or uh, whatever those phones are and, you know if you go even smaller it gets even smaller for you but it's always going to respond and resize itself to the desired size that the screen is being viewed on which is really really awesome I just want to show you one more example here here's a website that I'm working on for a client and as I go over here to free classes we have this widget that I pulled from a pointee it's a calendar it's a scheduler and when I first popped this widget in here it was kind of bleeding from the bottom there and I couldn't see the next button so I went into the code and I actually changed the size and when I changed the size the widget looked good on the 13 inch but on the 27 inch the box looked really small and it just didn't really complement the 27 inch so you know I needed to make this little box right here responsive as well so as you can see as I move the page in and out there you can see how the widget is actually going to respond versus just looking one certain size to complement one screen there okay what I want to show you really quickly here is you know what the CSS looks like I mean this could be kind of scary if you don't know how to write CSS if you're not a web developer however you want to put a widget that's going to respond or a video that's going to respond on your page this is what you would have to do or even if you're a web developer and you just want a faster workflow which me that's what I'm always looking for is a faster workflow so instead of doing all that what we have here is I want to refresh this page is embed responsibly okay so right here is YouTube Vimeo daily motion and we also have Google Maps we have Instagram Vine giddy images there and generic iframes and more now in reference to the widget for the appointment scheduler right over here on the open mind center I did use the generic iframe however right here you have more you can see Twitter you can see SoundCloud and some other different sources here that you can use here but let's look at this YouTube real quick as an example we already have just a regular generic YouTube link there um, that we copied from the URL as we were viewing the video as just you know for pleasure okay and you just hit video you hit embed right there and what happens here is the video is going to load here and this is going to be your first indicator that you have the right link for YouTube or Vimeo or whatever type of source you're using you're actually going to see um, what you're going to embed there you're a a actually able to play it as well but this little code right here is all that you're going to need to paste right into the section of the website where you actually want to see the actual embed embedded video in a responsive manner there okay so kind of bringing you right back over here to this page right here at the very bottom we have down here is let me get down here to the bottom here 
my internet connection is kind of slow so sorry for the hard load there but right here we have an image and within this image right here this whole entire image size right here is like 5,000 by 5,000 however my screen size here is not 5,000 by 5,000 but we're seeing the center of this image here and if I resize this page right here you can also see this image here you know in a responsive manner and it looks really good on the phone right back over here is actually how I achieved that image because I did not necessarily know how to create an iframe out of an image or take an image and put it into an iframe to use the embed responsively code there so I did write the code and this actually is the code um, that is calling this image to respond in reference to the responsive design you know and if you're having an issue with you know making your images responsive outside of the giddy images here or you know using a generic frame iframes here uh, send me over a tweet at website candy and I do everything I can to assist and help you out there so other than that I hope you enjoyed this video hopefully this is going to help someone's uh, workflow move a lot faster in reference to embedding videos in a smart way versus just taking that embed code from YouTube and popping it on your website there I hope you enjoyed if it worked out for you please you know send me some type of feedback you know respond to me in some type of way to let me know that this helped you out here all right. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Goodbye.